Hi everyone, my name is Danielle and I'm the Conservation and Youth Education Specialist with the Colorado State Forest Service. And today we're going to be doing an activity from Project Learning Tree called The Shape of Things. This activity can be found in PLT's Nature Activities for Families. This is a resource that you can find for free at plt.org under the resources section. And there's over 30 different activities that you can download and do around the home, in your own backyard, and at local parks. For our educators out there, this activity can also be found in its full version with PLT's Environmental Experiences for Early Childhood Curriculum. This is available right now as an online training at shopplt.org. So, to get us started, let's take a look at a couple of shapes. I have some things that I found from around my house. The first one is the CD from Billy B, who sings awesome songs about trees. And if you take a look at this shape, there are four equal sides, and that is a square. The next shape we're going to take a look at, I made with my bandana. This one you can see has three sides and at each side there's an angle. So this one is a triangle. And then the last shape we'll take a look at is this one from my clock. It's a nice round shape that is a circle. Now, you can find these shapes not only around your home, but also in nature. So I went on a hike the other day and brought back some objects that helped remind me of some of these shapes. Let's see what you think of when you see them. The first one I have is a ponderosa pine cone from one of our trees in Colorado. And if you take a look at the bottom, what does this round shape remind you of? To me, it looked like a circle. The next one is a really cool rock that I found. If you take a look, it has about those four equal sides, and that one is a square. The next item I found came from a cool piece of bark that was lying down next to a tree. What does this one remind you of? Well, if you take a look, it has those three sides and the three angles. So this one is a triangle. The last one I wanted to share with you comes from a tree. This is a tree cookie. It was cut out of the trunk of the tree. If you look inside the tree cookie, you can also see this shape. There's rings in that shape. Those rings actually can tell you how old this tree is. Each ring is one year. This one is 98 years old, it has eight rings. And this tree cookie is in the shape of a circle. Well, now we reviewed some shapes. Next, we're gonna dive into the activities that you can do at home. For this tree, the shaped necklace, you will need some paper, you can use construction paper or blank paper. If you have some crayons or colored pencils, you can color in different colors on that paper as well. You'll need some scissors, some string or yarn, something to tie around for your necklace. And then if you have it, a hole punch to punch your shapes if you don't have that, you can have a parent help you with a pen or pencil. So once you have all those items, then you can start making the shapes for your shape necklace. And you can really be creative. If you take a look at mine, I made it lots of different colors. And on one side, it's just blank. And on the other side, you'll see the name of items. So that we have a circle. My necklace I also made, this is kind of like an extended circle. It's called an oval. Once again, we have that shape with those four equal sides. That's our square. 
And this one's like a square with four sides, but you'll notice two are longer than the other. That's a rectangle. Here's our shape with three equal sides. That's our triangle. And this one's kind of fun. It's what happens when you combine two triangles and you form a diamond. As I said, you can be creative with your shape necklace, adding other things. I made a heart, a star, or what other shapes you think of that you might want to like and include. So you're gonna draw your shapes, color them, cut them out, and then you can add them to your shape necklace. So when you have it on, you're ready to go outside for a hike and see if you can find those shapes. So as I walked around my neighborhood, let's take a look at some of the shapes I was able to find and see if you can guess what they are. So the first one was a dandelion. Do you see the shape that's in the dandelion? If you guess circle, there you got it. The next one was a really cool tree branch that I found. What does this remind you of? Did you see the triangle? Here are some stumps that I found. If you take a look at the top, what shape does that remind you of? We have a circle. And then taking a look back, even trees come in different shapes. What shape does this tree remind you of? How about a triangle? Taking a look closer at the tree, looking at this bark, what shape do you see right in the middle? I found a square. Here's a really cool cave I found when I was taking my dog for a walk. What shape do you see here? Could you find the triangle? Even animals can help remind us of shapes. What shape is the body of this goose? Did you see the oval? How about the mountain back here? It reminded me a lot of a triangle. And then of course, what do you think of this rock? Did you see the square? Here we have a spot where a tree branch was cut out. What shape do you see? Did you find the circle? How about these branches where we found those ponderosa pine cones? If you look closely, that reminded me of a circle. Here we have another bird. If you take a look at its beak, what does it remind you of? I found a triangle. And then last, what do you think of this rock? You got it. There's a triangle. So take a look around outside your home. What shapes are you able to find? I bet once you start looking, you'll see all sorts of shapes. And you can have a lot of fun with it. You can play different games, like I spy. I spy something with my little eye that looks like a diamond. Or you could do a shape scavenger hunt. See who in your family can find the most squares as you go out on your walk. The last activity that I wanted to show you with this is something that you can do inside. And it takes a look at something called a tanagram. Now this is found right on the handout for this activity. You can find the pattern. It looks like a square, but inside there's lots of different smaller shapes that you'll cut out. You can do this on a piece of paper. I use an old cardboard box for mine, but you'll cut those shapes out and see if you can make different animals, different creatures from nature. If you take a look here, I was able to make a fox. And if you check out the different shapes for his ears, we have a triangle. For his head, you'll find the square. 
his body comes with a bigger triangle. And then his tail, we haven't talked about this one yet, is a parallelogram. So once you make your puzzle, you can try different animals, different things. Really be creative because shapes are all around us. If we take a look, we can see a lot of them right here in nature. Well, thanks for joining me today. I'm really excited to introduce this activity with, to you. I hope you have a fun time outside and learning about different shapes. Thanks.